Life is like a football game. Even if you've conceded during the game, you must keep on pushing because the game lasts 90 minutes plus stoppage and extra time if you refuse to lose then penalty shootouts. Just 11 months ago, he was thrown around like a bag of sweet potatoes fresh from the village landing in the city market came out of prison 10 days before the election and now he's sworn in as president of Senegal. Think about those who violated his rights less than a year ago and treated him like trash. Meanwhile, benefiting from presidential immunity, Macky Sall left Senegal for Morocco on a plane with only enough seats for his family. Leaving behind his minions to face the people they once oppressed, this should serve as a lesson to those who blindly follow tyrannical orders, but then again, they never learn until it's time for them to get a premium beating. You see, some fools often make the mistake of overlooking or disrespecting people because of their current position or situation in life. They make the mistake of allowing their current standing in society define them thinking it's a cure for their screaming low self-esteem and lack of confidence but forget it's the sheer willpower and confidence of the small acts that cut the big tree listen makisal even amended the constitution to be able to run for a third term but the senegalese people were opposed to that preposterous idea do you even remember that the most popular opposition leader in senegal under the former leadership Usman Sonko nearly died in prison during his hunger strikes because Macky Sall administration meticulously did everything to exclude him from the race. They played dirty by the book, but ultimately they won the battle but lost the war. They successfully failed because strategically speaking, Usman Sonko backed his right hand man to run for the highest seat in the country and won. Now Sonko is appointed the Prime Minister of Senegal and in my book, a win is a win. The game was already folded but Macky Sall was too busy chasing wind in the forest and now doesn't understand how he was unable to catch it. Did you know that at the 1998 Africa Cup of Nations, at the 87th minute, DRC was losing 4-1 to Burkina Faso but within two minutes they scored the three remaining goals taking the game to a penalty shootout and they won that match. Two completely different scenarios, yet the same determination, the same heart and belief in self regardless of the hellish conditions they were under and their refusal to allow their position at the time to define or dictate their future reality. Listen, all I'm saying is this, as long as you breathe, there is always hope. So bet on your freaking self while being respectful to people around you because we are all trying. Keep showing up for yourself because life is to be lived until the last whistle, the last breath. I'll finish with this. In my village they say, when climbing a rocky mountain, do not laugh at the toothless people you meet on your way up because they will be there at the foothill of that mountain to see you coming down. Like, share, subscribe, discuss and contrast and stick around for more. You just have to understand that no matter the amount of bashings that come to us, we just have to be consistent. We just have to stay put, stay focused because many people will come and go. Many people will discourage you. Many people will discourage us. But we have to stay focused on the price. I want to let you know something. First of all, bringing this video to you uh is to let you understand the intricacies let you understand the hard work the heavy lifting that we have to do because it takes very few people to accomplish a job for many people get it my point very clearly and understand these things now fidel castro once said that he started a revolution with 100,000 men if he wants to start again he will start with just 10 men. You know what that means? You know what that means? It takes very few people to do the heavy lifting. Now, the number of people who make a positive change in the society, there are not always so many. Very few people make a positive change in their society. I come today with glad tidings. I come today with good news to tell you out there. If you look at it very well, you come to discover that at the beginning, when we, when we, when we started in 2016, when Mancho BBC came out, some people were asking us questions. Or oh, even Nijon Fundi asked questions. When I did do this thing, so 
una no have for shoot this say una no have shoot we say no pa we go learn now now people told us about the numerous sophistication of the enemy they told us about how powerful the enemy is oh kutaba oh b oh this or that but the moment we discover that we have some kind of strength that can overcome theirs what happened we saw that it was worthwhile and just as david had the courage to face goliath we said that we would do it even with our bare hands we started making progress ladies and gentlemen dear viewers fellow ambassadors let nobody discourage you let nobody tell you anything which you know very well that is out of track many people have come to this struggle and they are gone you know and some people have even been to this struggle they started preaching or they started fighting and you know against you and i who are still here these things were meant to happen if the children of israel could not endure if they could not take so much time to walk through the the you know the desert and go through until a uh, time where they could be free today we will not be talking about that today we will not be using that as an inspiration look at the people of south sudan look at the people of somaliland look at them ask yourself these questions how did they become free it is not given at the platter of gold never it is given it is only through hard work and it is not hard work of the masses very few people very dedicated people if they tell you if somebody tells you the power that SCBC had in 2016 2017 if they tell you that only two people were running SCBC you'll be shocked right <laughs> and there are some activities going on in Ambazonian struggle that you see results if they tell you that only few people have done this have joined hands together to make this happen you'll be shocked it is to tell you the amount of resilience it takes a lot of endurance it takes a lot of perseverance and sacrifice for people to accomplish a mission that will benefit the majority this information is not only for you to keep to watch and keep to share for our comrades to also consume it to also understand because we are here to educate and to inform you i tell you this thing with all certainty with all confidence that come rain come shine boya is for sure the last hour of the day in you know the darkest hour of the days before dawn we shall overcome rest assured that it is the consistency it is a powerful input of you and myself that will give this great push irrespective of the number let's do it together we will see how it will happen even on ground zero we have people on ground zero who join this struggle because of their personal interest where are they today we have some people who join this struggle out of maybe they were so desperate or they wanted things to happen fast fast very fast no we know we understand it's a gradual process we we actually engage to live to fight another day not to be rush and crush please we shall overcome let us continue in this good spirit thank you for watching i will see you again in our next update my name is sabeno deco your humble servant